Hi everybody, I'm Jonathan and welcome to my channel, where I share Editor X tips and tricks for creators. And in this episode, I'm going to share with you a couple of useful and free resources which I created using the Hover Interaction tool and you may find useful for your next project. So our first website contains 15 animated buttons built with the Interactions tool. Uh, all these buttons were built code-free and this website is available for you to copy uh, and basically uh, make it your own. Uh, it's a clonable website. You can click this button and it will be created on your account. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so the editor opened and we can see that this website opened with all the elements and buttons right here. Uh, everything is enabled, so you can basically uh, edit it, uh, change whatever you want, copy whatever you want. It's, it's yours now in your account. Just make sure that you save or publish this website first uh, or else you won't be able to see it in your dashboard. Uh, all right, so these buttons are built inside a layouter. And uh, each uh, item here contains a button. So all these buttons are uh, created inside of containers for the hover interaction to work. Uh, as we know, it requires the parent container to hover over. So everything is assembled inside of it. Uh, all of these are containers and inside we have the elements. If we open the layers panel, we can see how it's built. Uh, so the button itself, uh, that you need to copy is the hover trigger. Each item has a hover trigger. So that's the container that you need to copy in order to use these buttons. So how do we do that? So uh, let's take this button, for example. We select the container. Uh, we right click or just click this uh, three dots for more actions and save as asset. Uh, save, a, save as asset basically um, means that we can save it for reuse on different websites, different pages, wherever we want to use it. And the design sa is saved as is with the interaction, of course. So let's uh, name it uh, button example. That's the name of the asset. And we can choose where we want to save this asset. Uh, so we can save it to uh, just assets or to a library. I created a library. Uh, so if you don't have a library, you can create one from here. Uh, but I'm going to save to this one and click Add. Now to see this asset, I'll open the Add panel, go to Assets. And under Libraries, Chamber, I can see all my buttons. All right. Uh, if, if this is empty for you, th this one just was just created for me. So if this is empty, uh, you just need to save uh, colors. Uh, that's what's shown above right here, colors, typography, uh, and the assets down here below. So also make sure that you have the font, because as you can see, this button was saved with the wrong font because I don't have it in this account. Uh, but feel, as I said, feel free to change the font, change the design. This is yours from now on. Great, now we have it over, over here. Um, we can go ahead and, and drag a button on stage. And as we can see, it's added with the interaction. So if we click preview, we can see that uh, we hover over this button and the interaction happens. All right, let's go back to edit site. Okay, and okay. All right, so let's see how uh, this is built. So as I said, uh, we need a container in order for the interaction to work. So uh, I'll open the layers panel, open this hover trigger, and let's see what we have inside. So inside I have a text element, I have an icon, and I have a button. Now the button is 100% height and 100% width. That's only in order for us to have a uh, pointer, an actual link, for this uh, for this button because it's inside a container. And if we click preview, you can see that my cursor becomes actually a pointer once I hover over this and I can link anything to it. So uh, the text inside this button, the text inside this button is uh, zero pixels size. 
so we don't see it it's basically not there we just need to be able to uh, link this button and have the cursor great now underneath we have the send icon which is initially out of the container all right so the container uh, is set to overflow hide so we don't see the elements outside of it and this icon is uh, docked to the bottom with negative 30 pixels so we don't see it initially and a text element uh, send just in the center of this container great now let's select the container and see what interaction we've uh, applied to it all right so we have entered the interaction mode and we have the timing panel over here we can see on what elements we performed the actions on right so we have the text and vector art which is the send icon so let's go first let's start from the initial mode the initial mode uh has the the send right in the middle and the icon is initially set to scale 250 percent y that's in order to create this kind of fluid effect once we hover over the button uh as you can see here we have this kind of little fluid effect of the of the text stretching and the icon stretching so that's uh in order to achieve that all right and uh the sand is set uh normally uh, default i mean with no additional uh, properties but in hover mode we see that the text uh, slides out on the y-axis, negative 50 pixels, so out of the container, and also has a scale of 200% uh, y, once again, to create this fluid effect. And the icon, on the other hand, is uh, translated on the y-axis, negative 45 pixels, just to be in the center of this container and uh, is reset back to 100% scale uh, scale Y, actually. All right, so, well, we can play and see how it looks, or just uh, go ahead and, and once again hover and see how it looks over here. So as you see, there's a little fluid effect right here. Uh, this button also uses the same type of uh, scale, just the scale X, because it's horizontal and uh yeah we have uh, different buttons here you can uh deconstruct them to see how they're built uh, you can also suggest some more on the on the actual website you can suggest some more ideas here that i can create and, and share with you guys uh, so that's it for the buttons uh, the second website that i wanted to show you is actually linked also here which is cards it's a very similar website but this one contains uh, cards animation built with the interaction tool. And some of these are repeaters, some of these are uh, layouters, and some of these are regular containers, just like this one. Uh, so once again, it's code free with uh, interaction tool, very, very different cards that you can use for your projects. They're free for use and uh, you just do the same thing. You go ahead and clone this website, open this in your editor, uh, publish or save the website, and uh, copy these or save them to your design assets and use them freely. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you find this useful uh, for your projects. If you have uh, more ideas, as I said, leave a comment down below or leave a comment on the website itself. I'm getting them uh, to my email and uh, see you next video. Keep on creating.